hello everyone so in this video we will see mutability or immutability of arguments or parameters and function calls so you should watch this video first this is prerequisite for this video in this video we will talk about mutable and immutable objects in function def uh, function call how to pass and what happens if i pass mutable or immutable objects as you know immutable objects are integer float complex string and tuples so what is immutable objects immutable objects are those objects which changes its address when we change its values and mutable objects are list dictionary and set so mutable objects if we change the value of mutable objects it does not change its location so let us see if i pass mutable immutable objects to a function we will try to pass integer to a function and see what happens with immutable objects we will try to write a function fun that receives a parameter a and then it changes its value and then prints its value we will call this function using fun before calling to this function we will give some value to one assign uh, variable we will take a variable num and we will give value 10 to it then we will call function fun by passing num to it let's see what happens in the memory and what will be the output in the memory when function when our python program starts executing so it will start from def so first it will create an object fun in the memory then it comes to num so it will create a num variable and then it assigns value 10 to memory and gives the address of this location to num that means num is now pointing to this location in the next line we are calling function fun with parameter num so num will be passed to a so inside a function fun a variable a will be created and it will have value 10 so because 10 is coming from num so it will also point to num it will also point to memory location 99 where 10 is residing now let us go inside the function where a is equal to a plus 2 is happening that means it is increasing the value by 2 so it is do making the value to 12 
So the, now the new value of a is 12. So it will not change the value of location 99. Instead of it, it will create another value 12 in the memory and it will start pointing to it. Since it is a immutable object, that is why the address has got changed and it is pointing to new value. When I pin our output will be 12 and print my output will be 10. So as you can see, I am changing the value inside the function but it is not affecting the value outside the function called immutable object. When we change immutable, it takes new value to different location takes new new location and it disassociate itself from the previous location so this is immutable objects let us now see what happens in the case of mutable objects we will try to see the example of a list in this case also we will create our function fun and then we will change the reason 0 99 and then we will print our list outside we will try to make and we will call our function fun with list underscore new and then again we will print our list underscore new at the end so that we can see what is happening with the list now let us try to make what happens in memory when I call a function with mutable objects so in the memory as soon as my control of python sees this def fun it will create fun function object in memory then it comes to the list underscore new so it will create list underscore new variable which points to a table which contains the location and addresses of values which is in the list so what is happening here you can so in this case list new is pointing to some address table and this table contains the values which are at address x, y and z that means it is pointing to these locations on the next line I am calling function with new list so new list is passing to L so what happens in the function inside the function it will create a list L which will point to this table and on the next line I am changing the value which is at position 0 that means this value I am making it 99 so 99 will be created inside the memory 
with new address p and the address which is inside this block will change to new address p then it will be pointing to this location and the other location will be disassociated when I print my output on the next line, it will print and two and three. So as you can see, my this list new variable is still pointing to, to the table. So when I print 